In this video, I will be showing you some more advanced technique to edit text on a scan document. Assemble. This video is actually a continuation of my previous video where I showed you some basic steps on editing text on a scan document. Now, I will beg you to please go watch that video first before coming back to this one. Most especially if you have no idea what we are doing in this video because there are some basic preparatory steps that will get you started for what we are about to do in this video. Without any force, let's get to work. So dragging um, our document into Photoshop. This particular document was taken with a smartphone. It's a snapshot as you can see. So the procedures we are going to take in editing this would be unlike the other one that was scanned. Now, as usual, we are to identify the font. So I will take a snapshot or a screenshot rather of the numbers. Take it to what font is. This process I already covered in my previous videos and I won't really go into it in details. That's why you can see it's been sped up usually when you take it in there you split your screen and try and identify each of the fonts when you hover over the font you can see it's looking like the other one you have in your document then you know that is the font especially when it's your course so you take the name and search on it and download it if you can find the free one if you can't find the free one sometimes some fonts are only available in premium so you pay and buy the font Now we'll open it, which will uh, extract all the files in it, and then install all the fonts. Select all, right click, install. It's asking me if I want to replace it. I'll say no, because I have them already. Now, going back to Photoshop, the document, we already have the fonts installed. I'll duplicate our layer. I'll zoom into the part I want to edit. This number part 13, 32, 20. I'll take my type tool, click, and then select the type I'm looking for. Arsene Pro. I think I'll be going with medium. Type in your new text sorry type in your original text increase the font size change the color so you can match it properly increase the size to get the appropriate match they are looking for now use ctrl t to arrange the other part that is not properly aligned reduce the tracking everything matches properly now i'm going to make a selection around there to remove the existing text Right click, view, content aware. Now you see, content aware view does not solve the problem efficiently. So we are going to select with our lasso tool those extra text that the content aware view brought in. Now you select your patch tool and drag to an empty space, cover it up. Now turn back our text. changing the text to 22 40 85 now you see it's very close to the all would still reduce the tracking a little bit so we'll have a more natural look now it's time to change the color Now we'll change the color and you see it's really looking good. Although we are not stopping there, but let's proceed to change other texts that we have for this for today's example. And I'm gonna drag this, I'm gonna duplicate this by holding alternate and dragging. 
drive you towards this 2019. Now double click, type in 2019, okay, change the color. Now place it on top. And using my control T, going to make sure everything matches. Now hold control and move the sidebars. The sidebars are moving. If you don't hold control, it will not work efficiently. So you have to hold control on your keyboard. Now turn off the layer. Take your selection tool, your marquee tool, drag on that place. Now use the patch tool, drag on an empty space and cover it up. Now turn back. Turn on your layer and this time we'll type in the new text 2022. Now you can see that the 2022 is looking very close, very close to the schedule. So we use our arrow tool and keep on to move it towards the left a bit. And it's having a more natural look. Change the color. Use our eyedropper tool to select black from regulation. And then we have it there. When we've done that. We are going to do the magic touch on this text. As you can see on other text in the original document, there's something like a halo effect around the edges. On this need, now you can see a white glow. That stuff is what we are going to be replicating on our new text to give it the very natural look we need. Now, go down to the FX button here and click on outer glow. Now on this tab, I have made all the adjustments I need. So you just copy this effect, the blending mode, vivid light, opacity 42, opacity should be around 30, 25. Then the size and the spread, just adjust all the settings until it look natural. And when you look at your own text, you can now see that it's looking almost similar to the existing text. I can now play with the blend mode, adjust the blend mode. For this particular one, I used color burn and after adjusting the opacity and fill, the text started looking like something that is burnt. So I had to change it to linear burn. Now, when you do this adjustment, you look at your text and compare. If it's looking good to you, then it's fine. You can proceed with that setting. But if it's not, then you know you have to make an adjustment to it. So I'm going to copy the same effect now that I have just made to this text, to the date up there 2022 now to do that i will hold alt on it and drag that fx icon on it to the 2022 and you can see automatically the outer glow has been copied onto that 2022 it's that easy to replicate on same thing i'll change the blend mode to linear burn and the fill i would reduce it to around 90. Now, I have to edit other texts just for this. So I'll copy that layer and then change it to a new date. Now, I would change the tracking to zero. Now, the font style, I'll change it to bold so it will match with the agreement made on. Now, I'll drag it up here to align. I'm going to use Ctrl T and make sure the lines uh in symmetry with the text box there so i'll drag it down and after getting that can duplicate any time change to 10 or 5 a.m can just do this for every other text you wish to do so i'm going to drag this now onto the landlord's name and changing it to a graphics LTD. you can do as much changes as you wish now to export this because it was an image you have to go to export export it as a jpeg and the quality should be six then click on export i'm going to name it snap short talk edited underscore edited so i will know the difference now with that done i would open the original snapshot doc see no changes have been made now the next image will be the one that will make changes when you zoom in you can see all our changes you can compare the new text to the existing text you'll see that they are looking very similar you can't even tell that this thing was altered and that is the magic touch i promised you for today's lesson 
and that will be all for this video um as usual i tried to make sure this video was very impactful in this short period of time if you got any value from this video please show your appreciation by liking the video then if you have not subscribed to this channel if you're just seeing any of my videos for the first time please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and as usual we are done with this video i will see you in the next video bye